Lisa Haven here. Well, Americans are going to be and already are forced to comply by October 1st, 2020. If you do not comply, well, that means no entry for you. And the bills and legislation were passed in 2005. What am I talking about? Well, many of you probably already heard about this, but I want to bring it back up because I think it's a very critical point that we are at in our society today. I am talking about the real ID. Now, if you've gone to the DMV lately, you may have gotten a notice or some kind of new requirement stating that you cannot fly, nor can you, well, enter any federal buildings if you don't comply with the new federal national ID called a real ID. For those of you who may not know what the real ID is, I'm gonna throw up the resolution here on the screen, but this was passed again in 2005 and it's called the Real ID Act, House Resolution 1268. And it's titled, Improved Security for Driver's License and Personal ID Cards. Now this requires you, when you go into the DMVs to submit your name, your phone number, your address, stuff that you would submit for a driver's license. However, it takes it a step further and it asks for proof of residency, your birth certificate and your social security card. Additionally, this will include facial recognition technology. It reads, subject each person applying for a driver's license or ID card to mandatory facial image capture. What does that mean? Well, that means that they have your face on record in a federal national database. It means when you go to the airport, you can have an ID with your face on it. And in addition to that, they'll have your face on their screen. That is what facial re ID recognition technology is. They have your face scanned and now they have the ability to find you in a crowd. That is the purpose of the real ID to get all your information on a federalized, nationalized uh, database. And this is what the government has done. When must we all comply? Well, as I stated in the beginning of video, and as you can see in the document, we must all comply by October 1st, 2020. That means you have your real ID in your hand with a little star logo up in the corner of your ID there, showing that you are real ID and federally, nationally recognized, and you're compliant as well. Now, how are the states holding up to this? Well, check out this map. This map shows nine 98% of the states here in America are ID compliant or have at least filed for an extension to be ID compliant. Green means that they're already compliant. Yellow means that they've actually filed for that extension. Now, this is all part of the United Nations agenda. This is why they're implementing this thing, because according to Article 16.9, everyone in the world needs to have an identification card by 2030, as you can see there. Well, this national ID no longer uh, is it controlled by the states as we have with our driver's license, but now you become a national federalized agent, federalized person with all your personal data given to the feds. Now, what if you don't comply? What if you say, I don't want your real ID. I'm just going to keep my driver's license. Well, obviously that's an option as well, but you will not be able to fly domestically, nor will you be able to enter any federal buildings. You can't do any of that unless you have a real ID and you cannot fly unless you have a passport or a real ID. In other words, it's a forced compliance on the American people. And fact of the matter is they're really pushing for it. Check out this report here from news10.com put out July 2018. DMV encouraging New Yorkers to get the real ID. K5 News, July 2018. Washington driver's license change to comply with real ID. Daily Press, June 2018. Virginia DMV introduces new real ID credentials. The Chronicle, July 2018, Ohio requires new ID by 2020. Golden State Newspaper, June 2018, all California driver's license must upgrade to the new real ID. Doesn't this kind of remind you of something? You see your papers? I don't think I have them on me. In that case, we'll have to ask you to come along. Wait, it's possible that, uh, yes, here we are. These papers expired three weeks ago. You'll have to come along. Halt! Halt! Paper
papers, please. Let me see your papers. You know, here's what I find interesting about the real ID, that the entire purpose that they pushed this in the first place was around September 11. They said, we didn't want more terrorists and we wanted to better weed out terrorists from our country. So let's get a nationalized database because let's be frank, that's what it is, and make every American comply with their social security numbers, face recognition technology, so we can get that. But here's the thing that they don't say is if you want to vote, you don't need a real ID. Kind of a catch 22, right? Because if you were trying to get away from voter fraud and it really had anything to do with September 11th and well, our voting system, then wouldn't they make voting part of real ID compliant? No, you can still vote having your typical way of voting. You don't even have to support or have your real ID. The real motive here then shows me that it's 100% control. What's next? Checkpoints? The government's now putting a national ID card together and they want checkpoints. We will be carrying our papers and they have recommended there be checkpoints uh, throughout the country. Isn't that what Nazi Germany did that everybody in America was against? Checkpoints, proof, papers please. May I see your papers? It seems that checkpoints just might be step two in this entire process. But what do you need in order to have that checkpoint? Well, you need a more federalized police force. But that's not something they've ever talked about, right? <laughs> Check out this report, it goes all the way back to 2015. The first one's here, USA Today. Reynolds wants a lawless police force. Federalize it. WND News 2016, Obama's federalization of police grows nationwide. Real news right now, Trump announces plan to federalize American police department. Now, I love Trump to death. I may not agree with everything in this particular one. I just don't agree with. Here we have a federalized national ID system you're forced to comply with by 2020, or you can forget about flying and going into, well, public places like your federal departments there. And now they're even talking about a federalized police force. This is removing so much power from the states and giving it over to federal. There has to be an equal amount of power in both branches. You can't give everything over to the feds because then absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. I'm a huge supporter. I believe we need government. We do. Absolutely. I don't believe in really big government, but I believe in equal forms of power to the state and to the federal. But this is just simply not going to happen when you federalize everything. Shalom, shalom, Makim. All right, first I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukar Kadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name who the and he calls Jesus Christ. I had to give double honors to my apostles and elders, that great most of who will well and told me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in our richness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Gazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina. Just coming back with you another quick lesson. This is Prayer Yahweh Shim Al Shai. And as you saw in the last um, little clip, you know, um, hey man, hey, America is about to make um, a lot of things mandatory, man. All right. And ultimately, this all, all leads up to the to the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast according to the scriptures, okay? All right, we're going to get that today, man. Right, two two key points within the scripture. All right, Revelations 13 and 16. All right, and we're going to get two main words, all right, which those words are causes. And um, matter of fact, three words, causes, receive, and mark. All right, those are the three words we're going to get, man, okay? So, Let's get straight into it. This is a uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. So, hey man. So it's good to say, you know, he calls of all. So the first the first word I want to get is cause of. All right. Click that. We got this in a blue letter. All right. First word he calls it for, all right? All right. He calls it for G4160. All right. I'm going to let, um, let y'all brothers hear the pronunciation. Strong's G4160. Poeo. Poeo. All right. Poeo. All right. And it says, it says, so, cause it 
I mean, it's, it says to make with the names of things made, produce, construct, form, fashion. And it says to be the authors of, to cause, to make ready, to prepare, to produce, to bear, shoot forth, to acquire, to, prov to provide a thing for oneself, um, to make a thing out of something, to make, i.e., render one render one anything and here's the point to make i.e. constitute or appoint one anything to appoint or ordain one that <clears throat> all right and that's the point man all right these these devils are gonna make it con they gotta constitute it man all right which means to make it into law matter of fact let's get this word real fast constitute Good. Look that word up real fast. Constitute. Boom. It says, be a part of a whole. Um, of people, things combined to form a whole. Constitute. Oh, usually be usually be constituted, give legal or constitutional form to an institution established by law. That's the point I want to get. Okay, so these things are going to be established by law. All right, which is the RFID chip. All right, that real ID that that one was talking about is going to come in the form of the RFID chip, man. Okay, so like I said, that word causeth means to constitute, man. All right, so. Going back. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, all right, so he's going to cause us to make all, all right, or constitute, all right, to make in law all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, all right, so he's going to constitute, make it law that all people in America. And throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? No matter what, he says, small and great, no matter how old you are, from the youngest baby being born to the oldest person, man. It says, um, rich or poor, all right? Um, <clears throat> so no matter what uh, level of uh, money you have in the society, free and bond, all right? No matter if you're out here walking out, uh, walking about, or if you uh, are... Um, or bond which is in prison all right it says to receive a mark in the right hand and in their foreheads now let's get that word receive really fast okay receive is a g1325 strong's g1325 did me did all right it says re receive to give to give some thing to someone of one's accord to give something to his advantage oh yeah because this 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 RFID shit would be to his to his advantage man to this devil's advantage man all right trying to be like the most high all right trying to be like it how about shimmy on shy all right, with in knowing where where you're at all times, you know, facial recognition, knowing exactly who you are, you know, at all times. All right, and he's gonna give, man. He's gonna give it to the people. It says to bestow a gift. All right, because he's gonna put it in a form to where it looks like it's a gift to the people. All right, what well, the the people are gonna really want it. It says to grant, give one asking, let have. All right, because he's gonna soon. There's gonna be some type of um a national emergency to where he's gonna uh uh grant this to the people the people are gonna be asking for it all right asking for it to uh, get chipped all right for they their, them to have a real id all right to to feel safe so it says to give give to one asking because the american people are gonna be asking for some type of security man and what's the gonna be answered from the so-called white man esau edom according to the bible all right that rfid chip all right it says, let have to supply, furnish necessary things 
All right, so he's gonna be the supplier, man, <laughs> of 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 the RFID chip, man. All right, and you know that's the point right there. All right, but it says receiveth. All right, a mark. All right, and it's the main word. All right, mark G. Uh, this is the mark. This is G fifty four eighty. Chagma. All right. Strong's G fifty four eighty. Haragma. Haragma. All right, and you read it. It says a stamp, an imprinted mark. Okay, it says of the mark stamped on the forehead, on the right hand, um, as the badge of the followers of the anti Hamashiach. All right, which is this whole kingdom, this whole system, man, this whole world. Is anti health shops. All right, it says a stamp of mark. I mean, we go even further into the etymology of this word. All right, it's a pale or steak. All right, and what, what's a pale or steak? All right, something that you uh uh place into the ground to claim your territory, man. All right, um, usually like for example, when Americans came over. America, they had the American flag with a, a pail or stake attached to it, and they slammed into the ground, claiming that uh, um, territory is yours. All right. So uh, another one is this pail between earth, stones, trees, uh, timber are heaped and packed together. It's kind. So these these are things that are uh, uh, um, uh, stuck into the ground, man, stabbed into the ground. And you're, you're uh, a you are literally made of the elements of the ground, so they're they're uh, um you know, pl- um stamping their claim on you, saying that they own you, man. These elite banking families and everything, the Rothschilds, the 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 Rockefellers, the Duponts, the Gettys. All right, when you take the RFID chip, you're gonna be subject all the way to them. They're gonna officially own you, man. All right, and stuff. All right, that's that's the whole point of the RFID chip. It says Strong's definition to sharpen to a point, which is that needle that that goes into your uh um into your skin, man. It says through the idea of scratching, right? And and what does the uh, needle do? It scratches th- scratches your skin and then um um uh then uh what's it called punctures the skin, man. All right. So you know that's that's one of the um, uh, one of the things. All right. As a matter of fact, let's look at the word. What a stake is. All right. A pail or stake. It says a fence of wooden stakes. The offensive wooden stakes or iron railings fixed in the ground form an enclosure or defense. Uh, yeah, so something that uh, basically uh, impales the ground, man. All right, which the ground in this sense is you. Is you all right? Uh, so I can. Yeah, let's see. This is a pail. Um, yeah, it says a wooden stake post used as an upright along with others to form fence. All right. Like I said, something that's stuck into the ground. All right. Let's get the word stake real fast. It says a strong wooden or metal post with a point at the end, that needle, okay, driven into the ground, which the ground is you or your skin, to support a tree form part of a fence, act as a boundary mark. All right. It says a territorial division. <laughs> All right, so that's that's one of the things that it is, man. Something to mark territory. 
All right. Uh, and you know, a territory is a, a, a personal um, um, possession, man. So they're going to claim you as that possession. Okay. And stuff like that. So, you know, showing you that this is the RFID chip. All right. The mark of the beast because it's going to be pricking through your skin, man. All right. So keep on reading. It says in the right hand and therefore is that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark. All right, so you know you won't be able to make no financial transactions. All right, and as you watched in the video before this, um, you know she said that basically the woman said that you won't be able to enter into any um, uh, what's it called? No, uh, federal buildings. You won't be able to fly domestically, um, without a passport or the real ID, and um, and many other things, man. All right, you will have to have this ID, man. All right, which ultimately all this is gonna um go into the um mark of the beast which is the rfid chip all right it says save he that have the mark and the name of the beast and the number of his name okay so without those things you won't be able to go into the federal buildings won't be able to make any financial uh transactions and all these things man all right if you don't have the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip at the end of the day so you okay. um but if you do get this all right. According to the scriptures, there's a judgment talking mainly talking you. And you ultimately, you don't care if the Edomites get it. Uh, um, Esau, Edom, so-called white man. We don't care about them or the heathen nations. Talk to you, uh, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Did you see your father? You're the Israelites, man. This is the message to you to not take this RFID chip, okay? Or suffer the wrath of the Heavenly Father. All right, what you're about to get. I'm ready to get the judgment for taking this, man. All right, so through fear, through the terror of Yahweh Shem Shai, we persuade men. All right, we persuade you through what the Lord said He's going to do, uh, the horrible things that He says He's going to do to people who don't want to listen to Him. Okay, all right. This is um, Revelation chapter fourteen, verse nine, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark." In his forehead or in his hand, all right. So it doesn't matter where you get it at. If you receive this mark, all right, the karagma, all right, the uh, you know a pale stake under the skin, which is the RFID chip. I right, says the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a into the cup of his indignation, and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and that's the thermal nuclear missiles all right or what it, and main you know mainly the thermal nuclear missiles man but you know you never know the lord might have you take it um if you two-thirds of the nation of israel okay because the elect won't will not take this rfid chip but two-thirds you never know you might take it and drop dead then because they break it in cyanide and leaks out into your body man because these this rfid chip contains those, these things man all right, harmful to your body. Okay, it says verse eleven. It says, "In the smoke of their torment, ascend it up forever and ever, and have no rest, day or night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark and his name." All right, so this is, hey man, you could be tortured in now those that thermonuclear fire, man. All right, because you didn't want to listen unto the prophets. That come and prophesy that the that the that, that the um RFID chip is the mark of the beast and that Yahweh Shemal Shai, which is the true powers of the nation of Israel, told you not to take it, man. You didn't want to listen, so you got to suffer the wrath of the Heavenly Father, his righteous indignation, all right, his righteous anger. All right. And you gotta have to taste those missiles, man. All right, was those missiles <laughs> as brother said uh uh uh, a million degrees Celsius, man. All right, <laughs> you know you can't even fathom that, man. You get you uh jump when you burn yourself on a stove or on a hot iron, which might be only um what or might only be like three hundred to five hundred degrees, man. All right, so how much more when you know <laughs> that, uh, a million degrees Celsius is hitting you, man? All right, so hey, man, don't take the RFID chip, man, or you will be destroyed in thermonuclear um. By thermonuclear missiles, man, or whatever way you have sees fit for you to, to be put to death. So, with that, I like to give all praises and glory.
to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, by Shimei Krakadash, double honest to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who do well, who taught me this truth, and Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. I hope this was edifying to you. Shalom.